on AMC and this fella Ants, he's Ants Trades, I guess it is. But in the corner of my eye, guys, I'm watching GNS because I just took another position in it. I'm in at $1.89. It just shot to $2.22. Man, I'm already banking. This thing's been paying all day. So in the corner of my eye, I'm probably going to hit sell here in a minute. This is my third trade on GNS. And um, it was alerted in my Discord by Smooth really early this morning. And we have been gang-banging this thing for the past seven hours. It has been off the freaking chain all day. It won't stop paying. GNS just keeps paying. If you guys want me to do a video on it explaining why this thing is ripping, possible moves tomorrow on into Monday, let me know. I'll do a GNS video. So in the corner of my eye, I'm watching it. I might have to sell here in a second. AMC. So this fella, Ants trades did a video saying he's got this uh you know he's aligning charts algorithms he's comparing uh pre-covid then he goes post-covid the blast all the money coming in okay he's trying to align everything and then he comes to the conclusion that at the end of january we'll see a moas possibly he's not guaranteeing anything he's just saying it's looking like it could align to the end of january the only, see i'm my thing is where's the money coming from Where's the money coming from? But the mentality has changed as well. And I just want to put a few things in perspective for everybody before you go jumping the gun thinking that we that everything is just going to magically align on paper and work. Because it might look good on paper, but it, once it moves over to reality, it never works. All right? I mean, think of all those charts and patterns that Trey Trades and Matt Coors and all those dudes that sat in front of their computers and convinced you day in and day out that it was only going to get better from here. And it only got worse. And then they would still send you out those same patterns and charts and graphs. And the next day it would get even worse. Okay. It might look good on paper. But in reality, there is a lot of fucking dynamics at work. Okay. One of the big dynamics is the money. The money. Not only where is the money coming from for an actual MOAS, but... Where's the mentality of the people getting in the play at this point? Because you guys saw the other day we couldn't even hold $6.50 on AMC. Why? Because people don't trust it. Everybody starts selling once it gets up into those higher numbers. Guys like me, I got 2,000 guys that trade in my, in my uh, Discord. And we scalp it. We day trade it. You know, and then you go over to like something like Stock Twits and you read AMC and what everybody says over there, and it's in absolute insanity. People are like, Yeah, we'll hold all the way to zero. Give us what you got, hedge funds. We're not leaving. Nobody's selling shit like that. And I'm like, That's funny because 2,000 of my people just sold. We just scalped it today. You know, not today, but I mean, the other day when I read that shit, I just thought it was funny, man, to see that there's people still talking that talk. That nobody's leaving. Shit. A lot of people left. And now people are coming back just to scalp it to try to make up money that was lost. That mentality right there kind of gets in the way moving forward um, to really big numbers. You can't even achieve $15. Like, let's say, guys, um, this was two, three years ago. And you just started seeing a run out of nowhere on AMC. We probably would have drove it up to 20 bucks. That would have been fairly simple back in the day. Today... That seems almost impossible, doesn't it? It seems almost impossible because of the, just the dynamic of the person putting the money into the play. Then you've got hedge funds that they got to come up with the money to cover, but you also got to get past the shenanigans, we'll call it. Okay? You got to get past the shenanigans. So if the fella is saying that we can go back to $77, let's just talk that for a second. How do you get back to $77? Because the way we got to $77 is people were like, oh, screw my car payment. Oh, I got a power bill coming up. Screw my power bill. I don't give a shit. I'm about to win the lottery with AMC. So let's see. Do I pay my car payment? Or do I buy a thousand shares of AMC? You see what I'm saying, guys? That, that was the mentality back in the day. Um, or whatever the bills were that people were just like, screw it. And then you were getting government money and people were throwing all that government money, all those checks. So that's where the $77 came from. Does that money and that mentality, do they coexist that people are now going to say, yeah, I'll skip my car payment and I'll just buy AMC. Is people still doing that shit? Nah, nobody's doing that shit. So let's just think of how we even get back to $77 organically. Because in order to do that, you got to bring in unsuspecting buyers. People that haven't already been burnt. 
And what was it? What's the number, guys? I forget. Four, five million, six million people been burnt on AMC. That's going to be hard finding a shit ton of people to come back in, put new money, fresh money on a play that's burnt so many people. How do you get it to 77? How do you get it back to $77 when everybody's scalping day trading and nobody will hold it beyond, you know, oh, I'm up 50 cents, sell. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's the mentality. Don't even hold for a buck. If you're up 50, 60 cents, you sell now. Because people are getting in, they're buying a thousand shares, you're up 60 cents, that's, you know, it's good money, 600 bucks. Sell it. In today's market, 600 bucks, that's a good day for some people. See where I'm going with this? It might look good on paper, guys, but in reality, there's all sorts of shit going on with AMC, okay? That just kind of counters everything. So, hey man, it's great. I would love to see it happen, and I'm not saying no. Maybe give it a little more time till we go into a more trustworthy market and who knows but right now a lot of day trading going on with amc and let's see where the reverse split gets us all right guys that's all i got to say link below to the discord if you guys want to join in on the fun every day um and also let me know if you want me to do that gns video y'all have an awesome afternoon doge warrior out shaboom peace